Welcome to Beyond the Book with Julie, a chance for inspiration and insight from the author. Today, we meet Loa Blasucci. All good. All right, well, Loa Blasucci, so good to have her here today. She started her career in the world of Hollywood as a top makeup artist. She worked with Hugh Grant, Beth White, Anne Margaret, Bob Hope, Courtney Cox, Matthew McConaughey, and so many more. Today, Loa is a fitness industry expert as a certified sports nutritionist, fitness instructor, and power She wrote the book, All Breaking Loose. And what I love about this book is you encompass so much. It's not just about nutrition. It's not just, you know, workout ideas. But it's journaling. It takes you from the inside out. You even give some makeup tips. You know, at the time when when I wrote it, there I had read a lot of books. I had done just a ton of research, and I, I I just couldn't find something that allowed each of us to be responsible for our own hormone balance and our own emotion and how we feel and just kind of how we run our lives and so I wrote it because I needed it and I'm not like I'm not a great writer I'm an author but I'm not you know I mean I wrote the book because I needed it I needed to compile all the things that I needed so that we could talk about them I ran a wellness camp for women and it was the manual to the wellness camp and so it had everything that we needed and it's had a very happy life I'm, I'm really grateful for just all the fun and wonderful things that have come from it. How did you go from a makeup artist to nutritionist and fitness expert? You know, people ask me that all the time. And the way I see beauty and health are two sides to the same coin. And when I had, it's like I've had two amazing careers, both so much fun. When I was a makeup artist in Hollywood, I, it, for about 30 years, that's, that's a long time. And I flew in a lot of private jets and I was with some beautiful people, went to some beautiful places, had a, just amazing times. But a lot of, a lot of moments, first thing in the morning, the makeup artist is the first one on set. So it could be 4.30, it's really early. I'm there, I get set up, everything's really clean, really nice. The, the talent, whoever it is, somebody huge, which at the time, some of the people I worked with were the, were the biggest stars of the, of the day, or it could be anybody. So while you're really close to their face and you're kind of watching for the details and grooming and they begin to talk and they begin to share like what, where they've been, what they do, how they feel, what's going on. And I just listened and I have vaulted all, anything sensitive. Sure. And I'm not gonna divulge anything. I'm not gonna start now, I never did, I, I've always, been a vault but it became it was like an understanding of it really how you live really is about how you feel and how you look and I could see it in their skin and I could see it in their teeth and in their hair and I finally and it was just that awareness that just moved me into the world of wellness and health and I very naturally made a segue and stepped away very gently and happily that makes so much sense. I mean, you're there at 4.30, 5 a.m., and you are just staring so closely at their faces, trying to beautify them, and you're hearing about they're so tired, how much sleep they got probably, or didn't get. So you learned what a they lot. Ate, what they drank, where they were, and I'm, you know, I just... Of course. Well, <laughs> but, but in your mind, it starts to add up, and you, you can see how when someone drinks a lot, I mean... That's the, that's the easiest tell if someone drinks. It's, it really shows in the skin and in the face and in the tissues. And I mean, lifestyle really, it, it creates the body that you show the world. How does one rejuvenate their body or even know that it needs rejuvenation? Well, I, the operative part of that, of what you just said, would be even know that it needs rejuvenation. That's the part that we are all responsible for, to be in touch with ourselves enough, with our own emotion and our own soul, to know how we feel and to know, to recognize clarity in the mind and to recognize when you're calm and when you're, you know, your anxiety's ramping up and what it takes for you to come back to center. That's our own personal responsibility. And I think that's the operative part is to be able to recognize it. But it's very much about 
energy. And the thing that I'm learning that is just the most amazing lesson, and the lesson is a blessing to me, is how some of us are so in touch with our own energy. We can feel it. We can move it. We can access it when we need to. And some people are not. Some people, are, they just want to stay in their head. They want to stay right up in the center of the head, right around that sixth chakra and just monkey mind and, and think a lot of thoughts after thoughts because they can control that. They can make sense out of it in their brain. But there is a space. There's a lot of different function above the shoulders. You've got that beautiful pituitary center and the pineal center and all the amazing function that comes from there. But within that space is a beautiful, soft part of just you that no one else can get to but you. And it's beautiful. And people that are brave enough they're able to go in there and access that through meditation and you become um, just really in control of yourself on many levels. So you highly suggest meditation. Oh yeah, it is a game changer. It's a game how, changer. How long do you meditate a day or how long do you think is good? Well, you know, it's different for everybody. I, I think the main thing is to learn how to be still to learn how to feel that and to know how important that is to your health. And, mm -hmm. and just when you have a chance, take those moments. And that's the hard part because now we have so much information. We live in a world of information and right. it's and all, the all the time. And you know, some of us didn't grow up like that. I'm 62 years old. So I'm from back in the day, way back in the day. And I didn't grow up with all this stuff firing at me and I'm grateful that that opportunity has allowed me the space to be able to share how awesome it is to have some quiet upstairs. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. So besides meditation, what is it that is your secret that is keeping you so young? Because you do not look 62 oh. at all. Nowhere close. Aren't you I, so I know. I mean, I'm really serious. Julie, you and I are friends. Thank you so much. <laughs> but I mean it. I mean, how is it that you have no blemishes on your face at all? Well, I don't know. I, I, I am a groomer. I'm a groomer. I take really good care of my skin. At least I try to. But mostly, mostly um, when you're in touch with, with your own energy, you really can slow down your aging process. When you stay in your head and you're always thinking and always worrying, those kinds of thoughts wear out the body. They drive it harder, they drive it faster. I'm saying this in the simplest terms that I can, but there is absolute science behind it, but it really does age the body faster. So I don't know if there's anything, maybe that's it. And thank you for saying so. Okay, so does energy work also help? Yes, it absolutely does. Because, you know, we all have a history. We have all been through some stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's been through some stuff. I don't know anybody who hasn't. And, um, when you learn to balance your own chakras, your own systems, and sometimes that takes the help of someone else. And that's what I do now is just help people uh, balance their own chakras and be able to release stored up stuff from way in, in the past. Sometimes uh, we can within ourselves get in touch with it and find a, a place, a peace to just release that. And then what happens is your own energy gets brighter and brighter and it just, you become very light filled. And um, yeah, that's, that's when you're healing. That's healing. That is. Can, the you share, can you show a little example of a few of like the movements that you do that are considered energy healing? Yes. Well, I work with the meridians in the body and the, the goal is to keep them all flowing and moving in all of your chakras dialed in right to where they want to be. We all think that, oh, you know, my, I should have my chakras wide open, wide open. No, because that's, that's way too emotional. You know, if your heart chakra is just wide open, you, you're just giving everything away and you, you're always crying. And you, I mean, there's a balance, you know, you want to dial your heart center into where it has compassion. And, and you, have, you still have the sense to be available to help if need be. You're not completely worn out because you're an exhausted empath. You have compassion. So it becomes a matter of 
balancing all of those systems within yourself and that's your energetic flow. So what I would say, one of the things I do is I like to stay in touch with the ends of the meridians. Like for example, one of my favorite ones is right here. If you find this bone right here where your collarbone is, track it right to the center. There's a little ditch right there. This is, it's the 27th point on the kidney meridian. And remember your kidney function, that's your hormone balance. That's a big ticket item, right? That's in, your hormones are in charge of why you look the way you look, think the way you think, say what you say, act like you act, all of it. I mean, that is all hormone driven. So this point right here, I like to stay in touch with that. And sometimes you can just move it around, make sure there's no lymph buildup or anything in there that any energy that's dense or stuck. And you can just tap right on that meridian. So the bottom of that meridian is at the bottom of your foot. And we do this in my class sometimes. I'll have everybody just bring a foot up and you take two thumbs and just press right at the balls of your feet. And I'm telling you, if you want to feel yourself go, oh, just, just dial in right down. It's amazing. It is amazing. You can just bring yourself just into a state of chill with just that being with those two ends of the meridian. But there's so much more. I mean, that's a very simplistic, very simple thing. But yes, there's... Well, and you teach lots of classes locally, whether it's at Breakthrough or in La Piata. I've taken some of those classes. They're great. What I especially love... I love having you in class. You're a good little yogi. Oh, my goodness. You get it done. You've got that knock knock up in the air and you're down dog. You go. You're very sweet. But what I love is that it's not just yoga and it's not just energy and it's not just, like, heart training. It's everything. You know, Julie, there is a ton, a buttload. Can I say buttload? Okay, buttload, whatever, whatever. There's a whole load of PT in everything I do. Because of what I said a minute ago, we all have a history. We have strong places in the body. We have places in the body that need healing and love and attention. So it is, it is for each of us to know what needs healing and to take those moments and spend the time with your own physical therapy, we're each in charge of it. So everything that I do, there is always, 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 always physical therapy happening through the yoga, through the breath work, through the meditation. It's, it's a whole happy ball of goodness. So you can call it, you can call it a fusion. And I have to tell you that during COVID, the word fusion. Since there are no classes going on right now that I don't get to see you, I've been doing lots of walking and sometimes jogging, and I think of you every time I use the roller. Oh, yeah. The foam roller. Yep. Believe her. Because I'm not good at that, and it hurts, but yeah. I think of you telling me that it's really good for you. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's true. Well, you know, I, I put everything online, so and I'm doing a ton of free classes because while we're in this situation this this weird awful thing where we're all kind of stuck i'm just mm -hmm. offering whatever i can a lot of i mean it, it's free i i'm doing the most amazing class you've got to pop in julie it's face yoga with energy medicine and a little bit of pt and it is lovely and it's free if anyone you're all invited whoever's listening all you need to do is send me an email um go to my well my website address is loa at heyloa.com send me an email, I'll fire you the link. And um, that's Tuesdays at nine, you're all invited, it's free. Thursday, I'm doing a little discussion, just all things, face, hair, body, butt, beauty, nails, awesome, goodness, wellness, happiness. <laughs> Thursday is the discussion, so that we all come together and that's a great discussion, that's Thursday at nine. So I have those two classes that are free and I'm also still teaching mind body sculpt and that's just a donation if somebody wants to jump in that will that will be a regular class very soon. So you send an email so people would send an email to you and then you'll send them the link. I will send them the link right and that's the only place their email will ever go is just responded to that link done. I have no need to collect any kind of anything so. Is the link taking you to a zoom call? Or Yes, the link will take you to the Zoom call, 9 o'clock on Tuesday. You need to be in a hard chair without wheels because wheels make it a little dangerous. We're doing some stuff. We're opening up through the heart center. We're lengthening up through the neck. We're, we're doing a lot of stuff with the face and with your
wonderful posture that almost everyone, like right now, everybody's doing this. Everybody yeah. do me a favor, yeah. put your hand right here and come right back to here. Thank you. <laughs> That's part of it. So yeah. we work on I have posture. posture. Um, we talk about the aging process. Oh, it's so fun, Tuesdays at nine. Jump in. Great, that sounds awesome. What about for people who are feeling really bloated? Do you have any advice? Absolutely. You know, it's 100%, 100% food related, right? So think about what's happening. If you're bloated, that's what's happening in the gut and in the belly saying, we can't handle all this. There's, there's something's not working together. It's like, I can't, there's too many acids being released and ptalin and all these things that are going to digest everything, digestive enzymes and they don't work well together. So um, eat simply, eat what you want, just eat simply. I am a huge fan of food combining. It is amazing. If you wanna have a flat tummy, then you, you gotta learn about the components of food and what goes together and what lives well in your tummy and in your belly, and it's amazing. It'll change your whole life. You get a ton more energy, you feel better, and that whole bloated thing is gone. It will, I mean, think of like a little, you see a little old grandma walking down the road and you think, is she pregnant? But she can't be because she's gotta be 85. That, that kind of belly, that's not fat. That's, that's bloated, that's a, uh, a gut that's in distress, right? Mm -hmm. So it's up to each of us to kind of tune in when something isn't feeling right. Like we're used to just going, and if someone's got a little tummy ache, I'll just play a game, I'll play something else on my phone, whatever but kind of tune in. And after a while, you know your own self well enough to know what upsets your stomach, what makes you feel acidy, what makes you feel calm and joyful. You learn those things and then you- well, have and right, now, right now we have time to figure that out right? because we can't go to restaurants, we can't meet up with friends, we're not over scheduled. We're That's so true. So, so we can true. plan our food. And I love um, what you say about food combining, because I never knew that you're not supposed to have starches with protein, right? Yeah, it's just you taught me starches and vegetables and vegetables and protein, but not starches and protein. It happened in the 1950s, and it was a, a group of scientists that got together and said, oh, look at all the nutrition, nutritional properties in all these foods. We should have all of them. So when you have a meal, you should have a fruit and a bread and a meat and a vegetable and a thing and a thing and a thing. But that's not how the body was designed, that the body was not built for that. And so now, all these years later, after that, you know, look at the digestive aids, go to CVS, take a little trip down that aisle. That's happy town, right? There's stuff for everything that in your gut. When I was a little girl and you would go down the digestive aid aisle, there's like three things. It was like Pepto-Bismol, something else and so that's it you know now oh my gosh an entire <laughs> every everybody's got gut issues and remember that's your second brain that is your second brain so much information is coming for there from there that is healing you it's what's it's connected when you get your systems connected that's how your body solves the problems of what's going wrong so when you eat simply you give yourself a chance to catch up and to be able to dial into to what your body needs, where your energy needs to go. To take care I have of a question for you and maybe others do too. So some say don't eat dairy, but then they say Greek yogurt is really good for you. So is that not considered dairy or is well, it not really that good for you? No, that, I, I don't do dairy. I, um, myself, I know what it does to me. I don't like the way I feel at all, but everyone has different thoughts on this. And I feel like we're all doing the best we can. The thing mm -hmm. that I would say is listen to your body. Do you really need it? Does it really make you feel any better? And Greek yogurt, yes, that, that's dairy. Yogurt is processed a little, it's a little different than drinking a glass of milk, but it, it's still dairy. But I, you know, when you want to get serious about your aging process, in your ability to heal and tone, tonify, sculpt your own body, feel like you wanna feel, run like you wanna run, do what you wanna do. That's when you get serious, you dial into, what, how does dare, what does it really do for me? And it honestly, it, 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 um, it causes the body to become 
um, acidic. And, and you want to run your body on a little more alkaline than that. The three things that are the most acidic of all are meat, sugar, and dairy. Those three things kind of keep your body in that state. And you can notice it. I mean, this is like really kind of creepy, but I don't even care because it's true by the way your body smells. Dairy, I mean, it's an animal byproduct, right? And you do kind of start to notice that on, on your on your own breath and just check yourself, you know, just notice how you're feeling. How is your skin bright? Are you are you are you feeling kind of dull and chalky in the face? That's your skin, the largest organ telling you that maybe it's struggling and something's going on. So then you start to look at what are you eating? Is it dairy? Is, is it too much sugar? Too much? You know, I get the whole sugar thing. I'm trapped in the house. I've had way too much chocolate in the last little while, but you know, well, and then we have kids who are baking up all these great recipes. And then what are we supposed to do? Throw them in the trash? <laughs> I try to share them with neighbors. <laughs> Your kids are so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. What about bags under the eyes? Any, like, quick remedy for bags under the eyes? Yes, absolutely. This muscle right here, this is called the orbicularis oculi, and it's a very delicate little muscle. It runs towards the center. And any fluid that's around your eyes is a buildup of lymphatic fluid. And you can de decrease th that if you have like a puffiness by going to your lymphatic stores. One of them, all right, now you can see my Thor shirt. All right, <laughs> I gotta sit up for this. So right here, this is your biggest storage of lymphatic fluid right here. So if you grab in that, and if it's tender, that means you've got a little too much buildup. You've got a little too much going on right there. And then mm -hmm. on this side, move it around. And, and then you've got a little right here. along your, your belly button. If you go about an inch on each side of your belly button and just rub up and down and kind of push in, that's a lymph store. It's also on your back. In class, in yoga, when you lay on your back, grab your knees and hold them and kind of rock side to side, mm -hmm. you're releasing lymph front from along the spine on the back side. I mean, it's all around. But when you, when you, you bring these things into your practice, you'll notice that that fluid around your eyes will start to dissipate. It's dissipating everywhere in your body, but the eyes, your eyes are the place that it's showing the most. So... Good to know. That was a great tip. I talk with my hands. My hands keep coming up. Sorry. No, oh, that's fine. I do chair. that too. It's just that my know. screen is so high. You're explaining. And you're like, you're way over there. You're not here. And so it's like my hands are coming in the conversation. So one last question. Question. How can we calm our bodies and minds during this pandemic and the fear and the stress that so many people have? Fear raises your cortisol. Cortisol gives you all kinds of issues, weight gain, anxiety, all kinds of stuff that gets stored in the body. So fear is also up there. It's what's ahead of you. It's what you're worried about going towards. So if you can remind yourself that you are in this moment and be connected to your own breath, because your breath is what will soothe you and calm you and nourish your own body. That is what makes you feel safe. But the more you get up into this headspace, which goes there, worrying about what's ahead of you, that's, you know, that's fear and that's anxiety. And I get that we all have it. Being up there just raises up those levels in your body and makes everybody function just have a little more stress, a little more trouble doing what it needs to do. So if we can stay in the moment, that's what meditation does for you. Mm -hmm. And even if you've never meditated, everyone can do this with me right now. So honestly, let me take 15 seconds. Okay, Julie, here we go. This will be 15 seconds. Relax the tops of your shoulders and then just everybody stretch your body up. Close your eyes, relax your eyelids, bring your awareness to the very center of your tongue. Take a giant breath in through the nose. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Rise up. Stretch up. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. And then just let it go. And open your eyes. Nice. Right here. Just give this a little squeeze right there. Just so right, right between the thumb and the well, right there. And right there. The back side. Take your little pincher. Now just let your hands rest in front of you. Just breathe. Have I gone to 15 seconds yet? Let's do the other side. I think I need three more seconds. Just kind of hold that and just breathe. 
so basically everybody we're all awake now you just manage your own stress even in that moment even if you feel one tiny 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 bit better it's letting you know that you have that ability that control that control right it's up to you we all get to do that for ourselves and when you get good at it it's freaking amazing it's awesome because you kind of live in the place of joy it's not that you're an idiot of course we're all concerned about this pandemic we're all concerned about how we're going to resolve this and heal this but you are available mentally emotionally and physically to help and to be part of the greater good if you can manage your own emotion like right. we just did excellent <laughs> you do really good to, <laughs> yes remember to do that on top of everything else but this was really great thank you so much for oh, i'm so happy to see you it was great to be here and I didn't see, I couldn't see the, all the names going by, but nice to meet you all of Julie's friends and people and hi to everybody that I know and love. <laughs> Thank you, Loa. And again, for anyone interested in your classes, it's Loa at heyloa.com. Right? Yeah, email. Yeah, and hey, Loa um, on Facebook. Follow yeah. my page there. I post cool stuff, cool, sometimes a recipe, sometimes an idea, a thought, whatever, but. It's so cute. Yeah. I love it. Hey, Loa. H-E-Y-A-Loa. Hey, L-O-A. L-O-A, like love one another. Hey, Loa. Hey, was... Loa. Thanks so much. It but was I made so it up and I'm staying with it. <laughs> what? I said, I made it up and I'm staying with it. Love one another. Loa. Bye, Judy. That's cute. Take care. Bye-bye. You're the best. Thanks for joining us. Follow at Facebook, Instagram, and our website, Beyond the Book with Julie.